In this video I just wanted to show you a couple of letters that have got a very similar shape, a starting point. So if you can learn one of them you'll be okay. Okay, the first letter is the lowercase c. So with that you start there, start there, you go up, around, to the line and stop. And that is the starting point for a lot of the letters that are going to follow. So start there, it's a short letter, up, around, to the line and stop there. It's as simple as that, the lowercase c. Okay, so up, around, to the line and stop there. Okay, the next letter that I'm interested in is the letter O. Remember last time we said the zero, when you're doing numbers, starts at the top. So the zero goes something like this. But with the O, to help us join up later on, we start slightly to the side, not at the top. So you start to the side, go up, around. Now if you stop there, it's going to be a C. But we're going to carry on and join up where we started. So let's do that again. To the side, up, around, down to the bottom, curl back up to the starting point. The lowercase O. To the side, up, around, to the bottom, back round, back to where we started, the O. Okay, the next letter is the letter A, so let's make some room. And there we go. You start there, at that point, you go up, around, to the line, and that's your C, that's your C shape in effect. But what we do is, we head off back up to where we started, stop there, straight down, and a little flick. So you can see the C shape there. Up, around, to the line, back up. That's your C shape. But what we're going to do, we're going to go up, around, to the line, back up to where we started. Do not take your pen off. Straight down to the line and flick. Let's do another one. Start there. Up, around, back to the line. Head off to where you started, stop there, do not take your pen off, straight down, and flick. Or a little tail. That's your lowercase a. Let's try the next letter. The letter D. So start there like the letter A. So you do the letter A. Well, that's your letter C. You carry on. And that, in effect, is your letter A. The only difference is... Start there, go up, around, but this time when you get to there, just keep going, form a straight line. Straight to the top, and follow the line straight down to the line, and a little flick. So you can see the A shape there. Let's do that again. Start there, like you do your A. Up, around, back down to the line, curve it, back to where you started, but continue going this time for your lowercase d. Back down to the line and a little flick. Let's do one more. Start there. Up, around, back down to the line. Head off to where you started, but keep going. Straight up to the top, straight down to the line and a little flick. That's the lowercase d. Let's try the letter q. There you go. Let the a. You start there. Start there. Go around to the line, back up to where you started, back to the line. And that would be your A if we stopped there, but we're going to continue on straight down and a stroke there. So let's do that again. It's exactly like your A, but this time you head off down instead of going up. So you go up, around, down to the line, Keep curving round to where you started. Stop there. Do not take your pen off. Straight down. Continue going. And a stroke there. It's more than a flick or a little tail. It's slightly longer and straighter. That's a sharper point. But again, that will change as you develop smoothness and speed in your writing. 
Let's do another one. Start there, like the A, head off up, around, down to the line, back to where you started, stop there, do not take your pen off, straight down, continue going, and a line there. One more, start there, head off up, around, back to the line, keep curving round, head off to where you started, stop there, do not take your pen off, and head off straight down. And a little line there. Now if you look, this distance here is about the same distance there. Okay. But again, like I said, as you develop your style, that will change. But hopefully not too much. The last letter I wanted to look at is the lowercase g. Okay, again like the A, start there, head off up, around, back down to the line, back up to where you started, straight down like the Q, head off down, but we're going to curve round this time, the lowercase g, and again if you look, that distance is approximately, roughly, that distance, let's start again, from there, up, around, back down to the line, curve back up to where you started, do not take your pen off, straight down, past the line, keep going and curve round when you get towards the bottom, the lowercase g. Let's do another one, up, around, back down to the line, back up to where you started, stop there, straight down and curve round when you get towards the bottom, the lowercase g. Okay, so let me just quickly summarize that. Okay, the letter C. The letter O, start to the side, up, round, back down to where you started. The letter A, start there, go up, around, to the line, back up, down, and a little flick. The letter G. It's like the letter A, but this time you're going to go up. So start there, up, around, back to the line, straight up, to the top, back down, to the line, and a little flick. The letter D, the lowercase d. The letter Q, start there, go up, around, like the A, back to the line, back up to where you started, stop there, straight down, continue on, and do a line across there. The letter Q. And finally, the letter G. Start there, up, around, back to the line, go back to where you started, stop there, straight down, and curve around. The lowercase g. Okay, I hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye for now.